The Downbeat Scoop, Unpacking the Phrase. Hello, wonderful learners. Today, we're diving into the intriguing phrase, downbeat. Ever wondered what it means or where it comes from? By the end of this video, you'll have all the answers. At its core, downbeat refers to two main concepts. One, music. It's the first beat in a measure, often emphasized, and is the opposite of the upbeat, which is the last beat in a measure. Two, mood. It describes a mood or tone that's somewhat sad or pessimistic. Let's delve deeper into these meanings. In the realm of music, a downbeat sets the pace or rhythm for the rest of the measure. Think of it like a starting point in a sequence of musical beats. Musicians and conductors often give a downward motion to indicate the downbeat, which is where the term originally comes from. If you've ever tapped your foot to the rhythm of a song, the point where your foot hits the ground can be considered the downbeat. Outside of music, downbeat describes a mood or tone that is not particularly cheerful. For instance, if someone says, the ending of that movie was downbeat, they mean it had a somber or melancholic ending. This meaning draws from the idea of something being low or down in spirits. Let's see the word in action. 1. Music. The conductor emphasized the downbeat to signal the beginning of the measure. 2. Mood. Despite winning the game, the team's captain gave a downbeat speech, reflecting on the challenges they faced. There you have it. Downbeat can be both the rhythm setter in music and a descriptor of mood. Whether you're jamming to tunes or describing the tone of a story, you now know how to use downbeat correctly. Hope this video shed some light on this versatile word. Keep exploring the richness of the English language. And until next time, happy learning.